I'm gaining like 0.25 pounds of muscle with every bite. Thought this was 25. 30. <laughs> Let's go. Put them bright lights on, I shine on them. Put them bright lights on. Uh -huh. In them lights, I hit the switch. 50,000 when I'm dealing in the six. And you know they locked in on every pitch. Life crazy got the boy tagging me in pics. What's going on, guys? Just finished uploading uh, my video on YouTube. This is uh, called Ben and Jerry's Must Have Flavor in a Squat Sesh. What's the must have flavor, guys? I don't know. It could be that one. Or it could just be straight up clickbait. I'm just kidding. I don't do that to you guys. But, um, it's a, it's a pretty good flavor, by the way. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, eating meal one right now, it is going down. Time to get biggest. Woo! But we got 10 ounce of egg whites, which comes out to, I think, like, around 275 grams. We got two whole eggs up in here. A little bit of ketchup. We got some bread with some sugar-free jelly, um, providing us with tons of flavor and actually fiber too. Sugar-free jelly has a ton of fiber. Like one tablespoon, I think, is like three to four grams of fiber. So that's pretty dope. So that is the meal. And on the side, we have one banana to get some fruit and some potassium. All that good stuff in, man. So this is what we're looking at. This is gonna be a dope meal. I'm actually like, this is actually, this actually looks really good right now. You can't go wrong with some toast and jelly. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah, eggs. We got the good, good. Oh yeah, and on these slices of bread too, I put a little bit of. I can't believe it's not butter spray. So it's gonna be buttery. It's gonna be jelly e, if that's even a word. And we're just gonna eat this bad boy up. Gains time. Kind of get big as football. wondering macros on that meal you guys just saw we're looking at 57 grams of protein uh, 74 grams of carbs and 14 grams of fat already got 14 grams of fiber into like I said that sugar-free jelly packs a punch when it comes to fiber so that's pretty cool but yeah BAM All right, guys, welcome to the workout portion of this video. Uh, we're going to go over the shoulder workout I did with Grant here. I walked him through a pretty killer shoulder workout. He loved it, and both of our shoulders were pretty sore the next day. But we started off, as you can see, with lateral raises, and we actually did FST7 with this. So we started off the uh, workout with tons of volume. And FST7, if you guys don't know, stands for fascia stretch training, and the 7 stands for 7 sets. And if you see my recent videos, big fan of this training and big fan of implementing it in my workouts as of lately. You just get a killer pump, you get a lot of blood flow, and it just feels good. Uh, I like to either do it in the beginning of my workouts or at the end as a finisher. So basically, as you saw, he took a really short break and went right to his next set. So seven sets back to back with about 30 seconds rest, and they're killer, guys. You have to choose a weight that um, you, know, you can get for 12 to 15 We'll go a little lighter than usual just because, like I said, the breaks are short. They're 30 seconds and um, just feeling the weight move and really just getting some blood into the side side laterals, uh, the lateral delts. Next up was the dumbbell shoulder press, and this was four sets to 12 to 15 reps, so a little bit higher reps on this uh, press. Usually I could do 8 to 12 on my pressing, but today we went with a little higher reps. And as you will see, 
this is the only pressing I do in my shoulder workout today. And usually on all my shoulder workouts, I usually just do one press and then the rest of it is a variation of lateral raises and rear delt work just because uh, pressing is more prominent on the anterior deltoids and your anterior deltoids are worked as a secondary muscle group in um, a lot of chest pressing. I do a lot of incline dumbbell press and a lot of incline flies and a lot, just a lot of incline work from, for my chest. So the anterior delt is um, worked quite often for me. So I'll just do one press and then maybe like every other shoulder workout or shoulder workout here and there, I'll also do an anterior dumbbell raise. Mm. Mm. All right, so next up was the reverse pec deck, and this was four sets of 12 to 15 as well. And as you will see on this one, I would like to get that squeeze and then uh, reset every rep. I just feel it a lot more in my rear delts that way. And I found out, um, you know, just doing this for a while and seeing other people do them, everyone has their uh, unique way of doing it, their unique way of really engaging their rear delts. So, you know, find what works best for you. As you will see, Grant does his a little bit differently than I do and um, each their own, just make sure you're really working that rear delt and make sure you're feeling the uh, muscle groups being worked. All right, next up was upright rows, and we did a close grip for four sets to 12 to 15 reps, and then right after close grip, we uh, just went right to wide grip and burned it out. So when you're doing close grip, it's gonna hit uh, mostly traps, and then wide grip will put more of a focus on the lateral deltoid, again, which is the side delts, something that um, I really focus on on my shoulder days. So as you see here, uh, doing the close grip, and then, like I said, superset it with the wide grip, and really just burning it out, and just putting a lot of stress on it. And these burn, especially when you do them back to back. Uh, yeah, just rep it out to failure. Next up was the one arm lateral raise. So for these, I have to go a little heavier than uh, what I usually do for two arms at a time just because I can do a little bit more weight since we are doing one arm at a time. And this was three sets, six to eight, really going slow and controlled and feeling that uh, side delt work. There are two. <laughs> okay, Popeye. <laughs> you were like, I thought this was twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> all right so then next up we did shrugs and uh this gym i went to had a shrug machine so i used it but usually i just use dumbbells or a smith machine and do barbell shrugs in the smith machine but uh, like i said this gym had a um, little shrug machine so i ended up using it and it felt great but yeah, shrugs, two sets of 20 to 30 reps, really squeezing. And then after that, we did two sets of heavier shrugs of six to eight reps. Again, just really squeezing and uh, feeling it in the traps. 
And then after shrugs, we just finished off with some face pulls, three sets, 12 to 15, and just really squeezing each contraction and uh, feeling it, feeling that muscle work. The key there to this whole workout and like every workout is you feeling those muscles work and making sure you know you're implementing progressive overload and getting stronger in your major lifts. Boom. All right, so that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let's me know you're enjoying the content. And if you're new, hit subscribe, follow the journey, and I'll have the shoulder workout in the description box down below if you want to try it, as well as my social media links. And if you do try it, please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.